There's a commonly held belief that magnetic loop antennas need to be ultra low resistance. So just by way of a, uh, a test, I've made this, which is made out of steel fencing wire um, in my office, and it's just connected to a, a sort of fairly ordinary um, variable capacitor, which is um, only rated at about 750 volts. And as you can see, I've used connector blocks to connect it up. Um, the fencing wire is three millimeters diameter and it uses a, a gamma match, again made out of connector blocks. So it ought to have a very high loop resistance. Now, quite remarkably, at the moment the radio <coughs> is using a Windham antenna, um, which on the whole is pretty good. Um, and if I switch it to the loop, uh, so that's using the uh, magnetic loop on the floor at the moment, um, I get less noise and about the same signal. As you can see this is my FG01 and I'm showing the bandwidth of the, or the response to the um, magnetic loop made out of fencing wire. Um, so at 7.050 ohms, that's showing an SWR of about 2.5 and at the tuning centre it's down to about 1.2 and that's at 7.140, 7.150 and when you go up to the top of the band at 7.2 it's still an SWR of 1.6 so one of the effects of increasing the loop resistance appears to be much wider bandwidth